Like, and uh, I had a guy reach out. I knew him. You know, we we worked out together a couple times. He's a Cuban guy, cool dude. But he was like, I was like, hey, bro, you know, you don't have to say something every time you see something wrong. I was like, and then, now this is a legitimate thing he said to me. And I was like, actually, yeah, that's how stuff gets solved. I was like, you can't brush it under the rug forever. After a while, the, you keep brushing stuff under the rug, it becomes a lump, and somebody gonna trip over it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I told him, I was like, man, my mom picked cotton as a kid, dude. Like, if nobody would have said anything, who knows where the track of my life would be at right now? Somebody gotta say something. And you know, and, I, and that's, uh, and that's where it came about. Like, I'm always doing that. And so my good friend Keegan, who's my co-director, who made What the Health, he's like, man, bro, I want to work with you on something. Because he always, I always edited smaller videos, nothing like nothing like this scale. If you want to really, really reach people, go through the route of hip hop. That's why I say you can reach everybody. And everybody likes to see what they dress like, you know, how they travel, what drinks they drinking. But it's like, no, do you really know how a lot of these people eat? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these hip hop artists ain't out there eating McDonald's every day, even though they promoting it to you, they not out there eating it. We wanted to get to that root and we, we talked to a lot of athletes as well and people just in the in the in the in the eye of the media um, that are with that plant based uh, journey and vegan. You know, sometimes everybody's not, you know, vegan, vegan. Like, I don't want anybody to think like we just had to have like the ultimate vegan, which there's no such thing anyway. But, um, you know, some people think there's tears to veganism, like you're tier five. And then, <laughs> that's one thing a lot of documentaries, uh, vegan documentaries, sometimes they miss the ball with that is that they don't talk to people that aren't vegan. It's all one sided. It's like, no, you got to talk to the people and like, why are so many people of color afraid of veganism? Not just that they won't do it, they're like afraid of it. Like there's, there's people that legitimately think they'll die if they'll go vegan. No matter how much medication they're taking, no matter how much disease they have in their body already, in order for them to change, they can't see it. It's hard for them to see them doing it. They really think that they'll die if they do it. So we have to change that narrative and, and, and present it to them in a way that they feel comfortable. Because I think one of the biggest things that I think that's any movement, whether it's veganism or uh, rate, uh, you know, racial equality, whatever it is. I think sometimes you got to meet people where they are and not expect them to come to you.